Hey, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video we're going to be going over a patient's before and after treatment. And this patient had an open bite, and more specifically, a lateral open bite. So we'll show you what we did, why we chose the treatment plan that we did. So if you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So this patient, you can see she is an adult, and she has a pretty good open bite. And you can see that it's predominantly on her left-hand side. And so this is usually a sign that the patient has a strong tongue habit. So tongue habits can usually be a tongue posture habit where just um, for whatever reason they tend to put their tongue in that position. Also a tongue thrusting habit can be part of it where whenever a patient swallows they tend to put their tongue to that side. And so over time the tongue is a very strong muscle and it can actually move the teeth. And once the teeth start to open up, this tends to exasperate where the tongue will go into that spot every time they swallow. The mouth tries to form a seal. In order to form a seal, the tongue has to fill in that space. So it's something that once the open bite's there, it's hard for it to close down on its own without moving those teeth in manually. So you can see this patient has generally um, straightish teeth, a little bit of crowding top and bottom, nothing too major. Her major concern was definitely her open bite. We'll discuss the treatment options that we would consider for a lateral open bite. We basically have three things that we'll do. Is one is a tongue crib appliance. We'll show you what that looks like. Another one is habit reminders or tongue spurs. And then the last is elastics. And these can be used in combination as well. So we'll look into these. So first is habit reminders. The habit reminders are basically small little attachments that we glue to the inside of the teeth. And they look basically like little spikes. All right, so whenever a patient has a tongue thrusting habit, we'll place these little, um, basically small spikes or habit reminders behind the teeth. And that basically just reminds the tongue to not go in that position. And once we can get the tongue out of the way, you can use braces and the teeth can get pulled into the right spot. So those habit reminders are helpful. We'll definitely place those whenever we have a suspected tongue habit. And that just helps to remind the tongue to go into a different spot. So another appliance that could be used is called a tongue crib. This acts really similar to a um, the habit reminders, except it is basically bigger and bulkier. So if you have a really strong tongue habit that you need to really keep that tongue out of position, this can be done and basically forms a gate that keeps the tongue fully back and makes it impossible for the tongue to come forward. So these work well. Um, they also can be used for thumb habit um, appliances. So if someone has a thumb sucking habit, we'll sometimes place one of these where it just basically forms that barrier to keep a patient from putting their thumb up into the roof of the mouth. And it also helps with the tongue habit as well. And lastly, elastics are definitely helpful. So these can be used in combination with a habit reminder or a thumb uh, tongue crib as well. So the elastics work in combination with braces. If we have this lateral open bite such as this, you'll have the patient wear these elastics. It's usually 24 seven. You wear them all the time, day and night, take them out only to eat and to brush and you wear them until the bite is closed. And over time, they will help pull the teeth together gradually close those teeth down and in combination of having you know the habit reminders in place keeping the tongue out of the way and then have these rubber bands going on the front pulling the teeth together we can get that bite to come together and get it corrected all right so back to our patient here you can see she's got that very strong open bite you can see her smile slants up to the left that is because that's where her tongue tends to go and so for her, we used habit reminders. We glued those little spikes behind the teeth on the left side, mostly on um, those three teeth. And then we did braces as well and had her wear rubber bands. And she wore those full time day and night. She was a very cooperative patient. And after about 18 months, you can see we were able to get her bite to here. So we were able to get the teeth fully in contact. The bite looks great. Everything was nice and straight and everything was looking good. So we'll look at some before and afters. You can see how much change was taking place. Again, it was a combination of keeping the tongue out of that um, space and then her wearing the rubber bands, the braces doing their thing as well. We were able to get that bite fully closed. Here is the before and afters again. You can see, like we said, she didn't have you know major misalignment of the teeth. It was mostly just that open bite that we needed to get closed. All right, so that was her treatment. You can see that this was a successfully treated case. Um, again, open bites, the major thing is we need to be able to control the habit. That's usually done either with uh, habit reminders or sometimes with a tongue crib. And then also we need a good cooperative patient that will wear the rubber bands in combination with their braces. If we can get that combination, we can usually get these successfully treated. If you have any questions about open bite treatment, ask them in the comment section below. We'll do our best to answer. 
Give this video a like, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you live in Arizona and you'd like a free consultation, we do them at all six of our locations. Check the link in the description for more information on that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.